क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग वैक्सीन्स या कुछ भी मन में कुछ डाउट हो रहा है हाँ सर द कॉस्ट ऑफ द क्वाड्रीवेलेंट वैक्सीन जो जिस इस अराउंड फोर थाउजेंड एंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ द नैनोवेलेंट वैक्सीन इस टेन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड दैट इस वन डोज सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वेदर यू आर अंडर नाइन फिफ्टीन देन यू नीड टू डोजेस ऑफ आइडर ऑफ द वैक्सीन एंड इफ यू आर अबाउ फिफ्टीन देन यू नीड थ्री डोजेस सो दैट इस टेंटेटिवली द कॉस्ट एज लिमिट आई दैट स्टोर्ड इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम द इयर नाइन नाइन टू फिफ्टीन इयर्स इस द आइडियल एज लिमिट टू गेट इट बट इवन इफ द चिल्ड्रेन आर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव जस्ट But as I was telling, uh, it is very well easily. There is no because there is no official study. That is why in India this the age limit is 45. But in US, UK, Europe, everybody, ladies even the age of 60 years, if you get uh, because see, the uh, maximum cancer incidences are why increasing because our lifespan is increasing. People used to earlier die of 60 or 70 of various other issues, and uh, so the, uh, that time cancer was most needed to be protect us at 50s, 60s. But now people are expected to live at 80, 90. So then, uh, even if you get at 60 years, 30 is one third of your life is eventually remaining at the age of 30, 60 years. So why not get the protection even then? So if you get the vaccine a little late, the efficacy of the vaccine may be little lesser. Maybe if not 90, 85%, 85%, but it will not come down to 10 or 20%. So 85% is still a good amount of protection from such a deadly disease, which can cause so much of emotional and so much stress to the family not just financial stress yes, sir. yes yes hpv test is like a pap smear test is conducted in even government setups i don't know about hpv test whether it's conducted in government setup but it's a simple kit and i good all reputed like in my hospital also it's done but all good reputed gynecs must be doing it I don't remember the cost of it, but it must be around twelve hundred, thirteen hundred. Not, not that cost. Maybe up to maximum two thousand. Not more than that. So zero month and one month and six months. Yeah. Sir, that's a question. Yes, please. Sir, you are turning fourteen years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You will only requiring two days. So, ma'am, what we can do is regarding the children who are interested. Uh, about uh, I can share one video about cervical cancer awareness which I have made, and I can give it to you. You can circulate to the uh, your parents. See, for children, the parents have to agree before we can do anything. And uh, if if need be, if there are uh, some groups of children happening, then I can come again and educate the parents also, because ultimate uh, goal of awareness is action. If you are just being aware, ki this vaccine aware, very uh, good, beta, good to brought this question. What's your name? Uh, very nice, beta. Nice to meet you. So it's a uh, we'll spread this awareness and uh, through Rotary also. I was talking to Radha ma'am that we can all, uh, yeah, we can do awareness and uh, especially we can do vaccination drives. And for example, I have always. Uh, I have always told, ma'am, that uh, the cost, I mean, Jivan Jyoti or me will not be benefiting anything. For example, the for four thousand vaccine costs us around thirty eight hundred, or the ten thousand eight hundred vaccine costs us around nine thousand eight hundred. So we'll be giving at that cost what cost comes to us. So that's what what best we can do at the moment. And we are in talk. I am in talks with the co company also that uh, specifically for the poorer crowd. We can organize some where uh, vaccination drives where we can rotary or through some organization we can donate those vaccines also. Yes, yes, ma'am. Please, I'm more than happy to take questions because that proves that you are listening and not sleeping. And in the next part of the lecture, by the way, I'll uh, be talking about the default brain network. That's a very key concept, and that means daydreaming. And I'm going to tell all you children that it's good to daydream. Yeah. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. So this is nothing bad. As I told, there are no side effects. It's better the uh, you have lips. Maybe I don't know why this happened, but uh, the normal protocol is you know 15 years, two doses. 
but there is there is no side effect beta don't you need to be worried you are protected against this disease you can you should motivate your friends other friends Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, my name is Shivani Singh. Yes. And my doubt is, does this vaccine have any kind of side effects which can harm us in the future? That's what I told, beta. I, I already told, but I'll re-answer your question. That this vaccine is 40 years old. So even the long-term side effects have been studied. The older the vaccine or the older the scientific studies go, it even tells us about the long-term side effects. So even in 40 years, there has been no known side effect. other than the pain at the vaccination site and fever that to one or two days of the vaccine that's the only thing and that is the side effect of any vaccine so there is no known side effect and not just known proper scientific uh, we have all papers you can google everything is there on uh, internet these days so you need not worry about the uh, side effect part of it you just need to convince your parents and i am there to guide so can we don't have to convince your parents we have to educate them and they have to take their own decision This is not a thing which can anything we can be forced upon anything. Definitely, I would be. This is a this is a very close and passionate project for me. So I would be happy to spare one more hour here and with educate maybe a different group of maybe ma'am maybe ma'am a different group of students and some of their parents also. Yeah. yeah because let's if we're doing it, I believe in doing it properly. But the yes 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 yes. Tell me, please. Anybody? Yeah. So, what are the symptoms of cervical cancer? Very, very good question, Mita. What's your name? My name is Ayati. Ayati, very nice question. So, cervical cancer symptoms is usually bleeding uh, in per vaginally. That's the common symptom, early symptom which you can catch. And late symptoms can be uh, since the uterus uh, is an organ in our pelvis, which is uh, closely related to the bladder. and the stool passing area to rectum so the other symptoms apart from bleeding uh, per vaginally can be stool issues like constipation or sometimes even diarrhea irritation of that area and the frequent urination frequent utis frequent vaginal infections burning these can are the main main side effect or main symptoms Sir, this time I'm too late. Then you want to first finish the second topic, and then we take up questions. There are students are there. Take it, sure. No questions. Yeah, yeah. Let Let's finish this. This will be a very interesting journey. So, uh, so now I'm going to talk. Uh, shall I start right? Yeah. The second part of the lecture. It's about the blue mind. My concepts on hydration and longevity. So all of humanity, if water is such a mysterious element, even religiously, even spiritually, spiritually, all religions have started around water, and even till now there are so many mysteries around water. So I, we are scientifically we can easily say that we only know one percent about the water, and ninety nine percent of about the water we do, don't know. So vast oceans there, and even with so much technology, so many things we haven't explored. So many things. so i have included some debatable topics we can have a cup of coffee later and my points of view will connect there are so many different things so everyone everyone sitting here is 70% water 60 to 70% water the younger you are the more water percentage you have in general so you are going to absorb naturally because i'm just going to talk about water everything blue mind everything is all water so i just request you for the next half an hour be water my friend that is only thing i'll request and automatically you will be grasping this uh, concept if there is magic in life it is contained in water let's see how so imagine if you had one organ that took two thirds of our body it will be a huge deal like right like gastro specialist hote hain neuro specialist hote hain uh, different kind heart specialist hote hain brain specialist hote hain we give them so much importance but if there would be one organ in our body who is two thirds of our body then that will be a huge deal there will be doctors universities and entire hospital denoted to that one single organ being to we would all want to run it optimally so this organ really doesn't exist but the, this is what the role of water is in our bodies water is the hub of life water connects it all and i would like to bring a mere coincidence so the human body is 70% water in general the planet earth is 70% water in general do you think it whoever the creator god anybody do you think it's a random coincidence 
it cannot be the creator of the life the god whoever i be name it the universe the universal energies do you think it's it just happened by fluke that earth ko bhi 70% pani banaya and earth plan human body ko it's definitely not a fluke it is deeply connected and no body of us are re- 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 realizing that fact water ko hum kitna importance dete we bathe with water we drink water and that's it that's a normal that's how much a normal person connects with water and even in those two, two times we usually do it unconsciously or subconsciously we are not aware of drinking water we are not uh, we are not aware when we are bathing and we all are essential water essentially water babies there is every single human has spent first 9 months of his life under water and breathing through organs like gills actually gills because in adults can't breathe under water for 9 months so imagine the mystery and this there is no exception to this not no superhuman who is yet born who's not lived under water for first 9 months of his life so and ever thought like for in for before getting to the blue mind i'll slightly talk more about hydration and how to hydrate so ever thought like even in ayurveda even our nani dadis kuch bhi bimari hoti thi to sabse pehle pani acche se piyo and retrospectively thinking being a uh, cancer surgeon and a gut specialist specifically and uh, uh, last 10 years retrospective thinking to, I, this is my only single advice to each and every of the thousands of patients which i have seen जो भी मैं दवा लिखता था या जो भी बीमारी होती थी एंड में ये बोलता था भैया पानी अच्छे से पीना है ज्यादा पानी पीना है दिस इज अवर्सल स्टैंडर्ड एडवाइस विच आई कनेक्टेड टू इट लेटर सो वॉट इज सेल्युलर हाइड्रेशन वी ऑल नो वॉट इज हाइड्रेशन वॉट इज डीहाइड्रेशन डीहाइड्रेशन स्पेशली गर्मी में कभी कभी बॉटल लगानी पड़ती है बट सो इमेजिन टू टेल यू अबाउट हाइड्रेशन यू नीड टू नो दैट ईच एंड एवरी सेल्युलर प्रोसेस हैपनिंग इन आर बॉडीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल डाइजेशन for example one new thought jumping from one neuron to another for example your heart beating or for example your immune systems working or for example your dna repair mechanism as i told there was there are oncogenes cancer genes in each and every one of us and our body is capable of repairing the defects which can lead to cancer if not repaired but to each and every even that system what is the cellular level thing happening in every anything in our body or for all life processes water either goes from inside the cell to outside or outside the cell to inside through some sodium potassium channel which you must be studying in uh, physics and biology you are right there are sodium potassium channels everybody knows right so apart from sodium potassium channel there are some other channels also and through osmosis and through various things even one thought jumping from one uh, neuron to another there is water moving so water is causing all those all, all the actions and imagine uh, there are 37 trillion cells in a uh, average adult male and imagine those so this is entirely my concept i have read a lot of books and consolidated into a new concept uh, is that each and every cell of our body is a imagine it is like a battery so for example we have 37 trillion cells there are 37 trillion batteries in our body and each of this battery it has a unique potential that it performs optimally when it is 100% hydrated and but now human body is very very adaptable most of our us are living in a state of chronic dehydration chronic cellular dehydration so if we are living in a say state of 80% dehydration chronically then our humans mind and bodies are brilliant they will continue working we will do perform well in our studies we will perform well in our sports we will perform well in life but will be performing 80% so our dna repair mechanisms who are supposed to cure the cancers defect the will only be working at 80% our immune system will be working at 80% so we'll keep on getting viral infections we'll fight but we'll live normal but nothing bad will happen but chronically is what the diseases happen so now this is science this is not my concept that cellular dehydration is the leading cause of cancer because uh, uh, cancer repair mechanisms are not able to perform at their optimal w- function so the de- defect in the dna uh, which is which is happening every single time there are so many toxins all around us the electromagnetic radiation the toxins we are consuming in our water in our food in our diet pesticides washing the table we are cleaning everything with antibiotics and <clears throat> in this i would briefly tell about a gut a microbiome so when we talk about humans we don't talk about these thir- just the 30 i'll take from my body thank you so much so uh
there is the 37 trillion cells. <coughs> Thank you for this water break. Thank you, thank you. So, no, no, that's good. So, when we talk about human body, there is, there are not just 37 trillion cells we are talking about. Uh, if you observe it closely, we are a super organism living in a community. Our gut microbiome, from our mouth to our anal area, our vaginal area, our nasal cavities, our so many, there are so many cavities in our bodies. And all these harbor thousands and crores and trillions of good bacteria viruses, fungi, different and they are all good. So there are a lot of, uh, there is there's a continuous interaction between what we consume, what we don't eat, what, what suits our body, between our organisms. So 37 times cells are ours, but 10 times this more number of cells are the organism living in close contact and inside our body. Our skin also has a microbe, but what we are doing since the invent of antibiotics, we are destroying that good bacteria every single day. We are cleaning our skins with antibacterial soaps and destroying the skin microbiome. We are destroying, uh, we are using mouthwash and uh, which is 100% alcohol and we are, it proudly says nine, it kills 99% of all bacteria and germs in our body uh, or on our mouth. So imagine we are destroying our oral microbiome and oral microbiome is so important, oral good bacteria are so important. That is why we are getting so many more and more diseases. Then we are popping pills of in our when destroying our gut microbiome in so many royal ways. So why one person will be consuming a lot of red meat and he'll be healthy. One consume, person will be consuming a lot of salads and he'll be healthy. If we switch their diets, will they be remain healthy? Definitely not. So red meat is not bad for you in general. It is the your gut microbiome, how it metabolizes. Red meat had, for example, taurine and choline, there are two amino acids which are there in red meat. So if your gut bacteria is trained to metabolize it effectively, red meat is very nutritious for you. It, it is the largest good source of protein, so you cannot label anything. So now we are getting too much into nutrition. We are, I, I out. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, so we are coming back to water. Uh, so cellular hydration, ultimately as I was telling, cellular dehydration is the cause of cancer and hypertension. These are all scientifically proven facts. So, to remain, so now the famous question, how much water to drink? Before that, so we age, now I will talk a little bit about aging. A newborn is born with a 78 to 80 percent water when a newborn baby is born. An average adult at 60 years is 60 percent water. So, isn't this statement enough to tell you everything about aging? A newborn is born about with 78% water, a uh, lady or a person at 60 years is 60% water. So we are aging because we are chronically dehydrating and 99% of the people, when, when do we drink water? So this is this is evident in nature as well. You, the, you need, know the dry leaves is the aged leaves and the yeah, green leaves is the younger leaves. So th this is what nature has been telling us all throughout and we couldn't, we are not still paying attention to it. So, coming to longevity, what is longevity? So, now there is the long, longevity is the length of time an individual lives and often measured in terms of life expectancy. But we should not be worried about our lifespan. Lifespan is, let's uh, suppose David Sinclair is at nine, 89, 90, but we should all be focusing on our health span. The last 10 years, everybody uh, with longevity, you should imagine that last 10 years, we have to do and I write down 10 things which you want to do in your last 10 years. Whether you want to be doing your household chores or to, on your own. I am a scuba diver so I wish that I will be diving at the last 10 years of my life. And I am a bird watcher so I would want to do bird watching in the last 10 years of my life. I am a swimmer also so I would like to do swimming in the last 10 years of my life. I am so mother, there are so many things and it can be different for anybody. Anybody would want to just relax near the beach. But there are so many things, our routine day to day activities, which we would want to be independent of. So that is what is health span. We should focus on our health span. And health span is staying away from disease and staying away from aging in general. So and in aging, uh, how can you master aging or how can you live your optimal? Number one thing is nutrition, we talked about a little bit. 
and in the nutrition is very much important is hydration hydration is the key component which we are talking about abhi aage bhi i'll tell and the next third important thing which very much of us ignore is this is sleep sleep is very very important and very very important sleep is like memory uh, sleep is like nutrition for your brain and then the third and the most important thing which is the actually this should be the first thing is exercise we eat daily we sleep daily so we have to exercise daily there is no questions and no bahanas ki 5 din karna chahiye 4 din karna chahiye 3 din karna chahiye zyada nahi karna chahiye over exact these are all lazy bahanas so i am on my personal self journey of daily exercising vigorously and today is my day 175 and i plan to do it for 365 days so and then maybe continue more also so and this is a, a thing which everybody internationally who is working in the field of longevity goes by you can have light exercise days but so what was uh, what was when humans were born matlab when humans came to earth so what was the normal agenda subah uh, surya sunrise hota tha we had to search for our food so movement was our natural thing aisa nahi hota tha ki hum baithe hue hain aaj aa khana aa gaya hamare paas some we had to move limit ek एक अमाउंट हमको करना ही था एवरीबडी हैड टू डू वी हैव टू गेट हंड फॉर फूड और इवन वेजिटेरियंस वी हैव टू कट आवर फूड वी हैव टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ मूवमेंट वी हैव मेड आर नॉर्मल लाइफ सो कंफर्टेबल कि जोमैटो स्विगी करो घर पे आ जाएगा चलना भी नहीं पड़ेगा खाना तो दूर की बात है डोंट इवन हैव टू वॉक टू द रेस्टोरेंट टू ईट हां 12 बजे भी आ जाता है तो इमेजिन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ लाइफ एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्लीप इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्लीप द नेचुरल वे वॉज सनराइज पे उठना है सन सेट पे खाना पीना खा के सो जाना है दिस इज नॉट जस्ट आई दिस इज दिस इज वॉट वॉज लाइफ वॉज देन थॉमस एडिसन वन डे इन्वेंटेड एन लाइट बल्ब एंड देन ऑल ऑफ आर ह्यूमैनिटी वी स्टार्टेड क्रिएटिंग नाइट को एक्टिव बनाना है वी स्टार्टेड वॉन्टिंग टू बिकम नाइट आउट फॉर वॉट देर यू कांट बी हेल्दी देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ स्टडीज हैपनिंग टू नाइट शिफ्ट वर्कर्स एंड डे शिफ्ट वर्कर्स and overall quality of life longevity everything is gone because this, there is a circadian rhythm your hormones your cortisol levels your uh, sleep cycle there is governed by this brilliant circadian rhythm by body by our human body and this is there in all the org- uh, organism not just humans every single you don't uh, see a mouse or a rat partying in the night it has to because you interfere in its life or that is why it has to eat in its night but normally in the wild if you look at all animals sleep in the night except for nocturnal animals this, they have a different circadian rhythm but we are talking about the normal diurnal circadian rhythm of people and animals so uh, that is why sleep is very very important nowadays i think is aise topic mein bore to nahi ho sakta koi so <coughs> hydration and longevity hydration we keep on telling what is hydration so uh, we, hydration is life because as i was telling through through the optimal hydration if you can keep your cells each and every optimally hydrated your all system will be at optimal functioning your gut system will be optimal functioning so all the organs uh, organisms through uh, there will be you will never get any infections in life and most of our diseases are directly related to our gut because what we consume in terms of food and nutrition so one sip of water can give, create wonders i am getting too much into it let's blue mind ko padhana hai thoda sa so uh, last thing about thirst is normally when we when do we drink water when we are thirsty right that's the common answer ki when i feel thirsty i drink water but the newer concept and even ayurveda supports it a little bit is ideally thirst is a very much delayed sense uh, th- uh, th- sensation in our body so when do we feel thirsty when water in our bloods uh, blood contains 80% water when that dips from 80% to 70% our water our blood becomes concentrated with salts with sodium and that hyper sodium concentration in our blood triggers the hypothalamus of, uh, uh, thalamus of the brain which triggers the pituitary to release anti diuretic hormone which tells the kidney ki boss we are losing losing too much water let's conserve water and then through osmoreceptors baroreceptors we become thirst in the nutshell uh, thirst is a delayed response so at cellular level if you study and if you wait till you are thirsty your 70% dehy- 70% of your cells are dehydrated at cellular levels they will be functioning normally and what we normally do we delay we don't even drink after our thirst signal many of us are traveling many of us are uh, sitting in a class and we don't want to use the washroom so the easiest solution is let's not drink water 
that is the worst thing which you can do to your body so especially for women and ladies uh, i can understand there are a lot of hygienic issues with the toilet but like right now there are there there is no point of being embarrassed about it uh, pee buddies and there are so many alternatives way you can safely there are pee safe you can carry your own toilet cover so uh, and uh, you can use that and uh, be uh, carefree about the unhygienic washroom because the protection you are getting from not going to an unhygienic wa- washroom you are get that is much worse than uh, if you are telling your body not to drink water so that is so the concept to how much water to drink is never ever try to feel thirsty in life forget the feeling of thirst i, I think uh, we can try to do it but not succeed but we should keep on trying forget the feeling of thirst and thirst obviously will also depend on uh, what activity level for example i am into running i am into swimming so i'll be more thirsty than you if you are just sitting <laughs> but uh, as per your activity levels as per your disease levels as per your body fitness level as per your as per the environment the humid the uh, weather also so lot of things play a role number one thing you should never feel thirsty number thing uh, two thing is there's a beautiful gauge our urine is the best hydration gauge our body has given us so uh, we have to keep those that transparent as as transparent as possible and never try and target never to see yellow urine even yellow is urine you will be at your optimum hydration levels if even after the full night sleep you um, in the morning when you urinate your urine is still faintish yellow maybe but not yellow so people say that if i drink too much water uh, i have to get na- get up at the night again and again so you have to work around your body and you have to master your own body that, that is up to you how to do how you do it so now we come to the psychology of blue or the blue mind water's profound impacts on our brain is evolutionary history as the psych- because of psychological cooling power of blue whenever you say anything cool or uh, automatically blue ho jata hai and uh, planet earth is so much important we all connect green to the color of nature everybody of us and I, whenever i am talking about nature automatically green sparks but whenever we talk about our planet we always call it a blue planet we don't call it a green planet so imagine the power of blue so blue is also nature i have being a nature lover so if you imagine a pool with a red flow the stark contrast will how blue soothing scene is disrupted i imagine this is the power of color blue and with this uh, wallace nicholas he's a uh, coined this neuroscientific concept called the blue mind so he me- went on his, he was a marine biologist and he uh, went on his journey interacting with a lot of neuroscientists across the world neurocognitive psychotherapists and he coined this term so blue mind is a mildly meditative state which is sens- comprises of calm peacefulness well being relaxed feeling in the given moment and this humans reflexively achieve when we are near water in water under water or around water this is the blue mind and uh, this is known to scientifically reduce anxiety stress promote mental cl- clarity well being so <clears throat> this i already highlighted uh, so uh, blue mind as i was we were telling we are all essentially water babies many people will say that i'm scared of water i don't want to get poked. so those all are are some memories which we have happened maybe because of, to us or our family members which we have created unnecessary fear but 99% of even those people who are scared to go for a swim if they will be happy to sit by the water and listen to the sound of the ocean waves uh, on a beach and relax so they have to work on the fear and un- that is irrational fear which is there to not swim not but as i was telling in every single one was swimming for the first 9 months of their lives in the mother's womb so everybody is an actually wa- essentially a water person so in this uh, so blue mind is automatically you can understand a calm mind relaxed mind uh, there is also a red mind for example red mind is our cortisol mind or our stress mind for example if there is a some mishap happened a bomb blast speak here everybody hears a bomb blast so we are all will do what we have to do to save ourselves and our close family members and we'll run obviously we'll run in a rational way but still we'll be panic everybody will panic that and even if you are sleeping we'll do this so suddenly energy kahan se aayegi pata nahi that is the red mind that is essential without that that you cannot survive that is the fight and flight response but during this era 
this red mine is a constant factor which is there which can, which shows about the cortisol levels everybody is is when we get up stress hota hai school jana hai aaj late ho gaye aaj homework nahi kiya aaj ye kar padhna hai wo padhna hai for professional people aaj aaj kaam pe jana hai aaj headache ho raha hai aaj tabiyat theek nahi lag rahi aaj bachcho ko khane mein kya denge but there are n number of stresses which we have which is the red mind and from morning to when we go into the bed our constantly red mind is activated constantly and 99% of the even i am working on it very much so i have reduced it gradually matlab much but even me matlab uh, this is so natural so we, this is the time of our lives where we need our blue mind and we need to activate blue mind and blue mind uh, as i was telling water is there in each and every cell of us so blue mind can be activated right here right now not necessarily near water but near water under water over water around the water it naturally automatically happens if there is a fountain in your school and you are in a bad mood and you just happen to cross it it just stand there for one minute look at the water and i can challenge you 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 will calm down if you have in very much anger go for a shower automatically you will calm down and uh, for example everybody if anybody is sitting on a beach we all want to chill on the beach someone one wants to read a book around the beach someone wants to just close their eyes and listen to the sound of the water somebody wants to look at the water somebody wants to go for a swim somebody wants to go for a diving anything somebody is trying to get a glass of water exactly exactly so uh, so this is the when we are in that stage now this is a very very key concept in blue mind which we need to understand that when we are uh, in the that state when next sitting or chilling next to the beach we connect to our what is called as a default brain network default brain network is a default network which we, which is connected to the universal energies which is the highest state of network and we are relaxed so when we all think that we are relaxing but it is a state of wakeful rest wakeful rest you are not sleeping at that time it is a called of wakeful rest and so we relax that we thinking we are relaxing our we are not consuming any calories but science find out that during the time where we think our brain is at rest brain is consuming the maximum amount of glucose brain is consuming the maximum amount of oxygen how is that happening that is happening because during that time our uh, brain's most important area the hippocampus which is for memory for learning for consolidating all these experiences जैसे आपने ये सुना मेरा जो भी मैंने बोला कुछ समझ आया कुछ नहीं समझ आया और अब कल अगर आज 24 घंटे में अगर आपने जाके अपने में खोए नहीं या अपने में आपने सोचने का समय नहीं दिया तो यू विल नॉट दिस विल नॉट बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ योर कोर मेमोरी दिस विल जस्ट फ्लाई ऑफ एंड दिस और एनी थिंग फॉर एवरी डे टू कंसोलिडेट आर मेमरीज टू स्ट्रेंदन आर मेमरीज टू फॉर्म आर मेमरीज वी नीड टू लेट आर माइंड ड्रिफ्ट इन दिस स्टेट ऑफ डिफॉल्ट ब्रेन नेटवर्क and uh, this everybody and this is the same state which we which the children achieve at day dreaming and the teachers usually slap them from the behind ki what are you doing i'm not joking this is the exact same state so ideally we should be day dreaming and every single one of us every single day not some of so we, uh, how you to find out the time obviously don't dream day dream in the class then your teacher will uh, short me uh, not not call me again to tell you about that so uh, definitely don't do in the class but uh, for teachers if anybody is day dreaming let them come out uh, calmly i think that's what i suggest because during this default brain network is the most important day where we find solution to ideas lot of creative ideas it's, it's the state which gives so much creativity so there has to be a balance between task brain network and the brain default brain network task brain network is the red mind constant stress ki ab ye karna hai ab wo karna hai pani peena hai khana khana hai aise hi so we have to we have a balance between and this balance between the task brain network and the default brain network can happen with meditation with so many other things radha babi knows so well but it seems to happen naturally and automatically with water this this is what the concept is and since i am not too deep into the concept so i carry my blue water bottle i drink my water and water way abhi if i keep on spraying so i am why am i chose to select my own water because there are some special water in it and that special water is not the alkaline water hydrogen water black water this is something a uh, new concept again ek thoda sa 5 minute i'll debate from this and tell about that it is called structured water 
so it is again uh, there is one nobel laureate scientist who is won a nobel prize uh, 10 20 years back this has been proven by science science that there is a fourth phase of water fourth phase that it is not solid it is not liquid and it is not vapor if you cut open a cell uh, it is a plasma or gel like consistency and if you imagine uh, so uh, if you cut a cell the water doesn't flow like water and it is not solid also and there is it's uh, it's helps solve so many mysteries around water that like there is a lizard who can walk on water if you connect two water bridges and uh, you uh, there can be a water bridge which can be floating so usually we try to explain that mysteries with surface tension but so and no problem so yeah, with surface tension but surface tension is not the answer for that so structured water is in a microscope you even see that the structure of water changes so it is it becomes h3o2 actually and uh, the uh, struct a uh, normal h2o2 is h2o and the structure of water so there are so many environmental radiation and electromagnetic radiation both good natural sunlight and unnatural through so many gadgets all around us when it falls on water it breaks any electromagnet it breaks into oh negative ions and h plus ions that is h2o and the in our cells this is a natural state in our plant cells in our animal cells automatically water breaks down into these uh, molecules and cell ke surface pe ya glass ke surface pe there is unique zone of oh negative charged uh, water which happens which is the most pure form of water the scientists name labeled as as the exclusion zone water so automatically water excludes all the solutes all the uh, impurities it's the most purest form of water so come coming to the short form there are two companies in the world which are claiming that they are making this water and this water remains like that for a fair amount of time because you, if I, even if a lab if i make this water structured it will absorb the environmental radiation and still become unstructured structured water they work in harmony is each molecule of the water is in flow with each other unstructured each molecule of the water will bounce off each other so it's a different concept uh, related to today's talk though so structured water is a it brings uh, cellular energy it, it brings more generates more atp it is overall health health benefits but this water which i am drinking is called jiva water so i am working with that company also i met their founders in bangalore they had invited me we are doing a podcast together about so they have done scientific papers for example a field of water two fields of water uh, same grapes everything same three months down the line with one with jiva water on without with normal water the production tripled the quality of the food tripled so this is not just at one time you can try yourself the, the devices cost starting around 10000 to, uh, to make the water structure but uh, some costlier ones are also there for your farms and all i have not tried those but i am talking from the science point of view and then there is one spiritual point of view which you may have heard in brahma kumaris i tr- totally believe in all that spiritual energy to water charging water all those thing i also believe in it so i used to believe in those concepts of water before and then i got to the science of it so that is why i am connecting it to it so deeply so uh, so this, this default brain network is the most important phase get away and uh, for example there was a study done uh, for a post cardiac surgery patients uh, who were re- recovering from cardiac surgery and at the foot end of their bed panel there were three different groups one group of patient was showing the blank slate blank foot panel one had a enclosed forest green forest and one had a, a full ocean scenery so the results was compared the people who had both the nature sceneries they required 50% less pain medicines less pain 50% they required less this is an actual study in harvard medical school so a reputed medical school and uh, so that was compared to the plain background then amongst those two between the nature because nature close and close forests can sometimes brings anxiety because logo ko lagta hai ah ghana jungle hai kuch ho sakta hai tar bar ne ki cheez etc so uh, <clears throat> in compared to do the ocean scenery people even required 50% less of anxiety medicines compared to the uh, enclosed forest so that is what is the real power of water is and water also teaches you a lot of things one story which i read recently and it is actually not connected to the concept of blue mind but it is very very have you heard about ma'am have you heard about the stanford marshmallow marshmallow experiment this is a very very famous experiment have you heard about it beta 
it, uh, there is something uh, there was an experiment done which is still being done called as the stanford Ma marshmallow experiment in that uh, at the ages of 6 to 7 6 to 8 children in a group of 30 class uh, in stanford were uh, uh, give uh, somebody came to the classroom and said that we will be giving marshmallows to the children and uh, one marshmallow uh, can you so either the ch 30 children can choose to get take one marshmallow right now or take 30 take two marshmallows after 30 minutes so many children took the marshmallow in the first thing and started enjoying the marshmallows some children opted ki, i'll wait so they were doing different activities somebody was drawing somebody was coloring somebody was making a uh, home somebody was reading and trying to pass the time and out of those very few succeeded to wait the 30 minutes and then they got two marshmallows and they were became very happy so now these 30 children their whole life after uh, signing a contract with their parents was studied over the next 30 years all these children and uh, it was find, found out children at 6 to 8 didn't, don't know any meaning of delayed gratification or anything so water teaches you so much gratitude downness patience patience mainly so that is why through patience i remembered this very interesting and very important story and then over the next 10 30 years these 30 people were found out and different things were studied on their behavior on their happiness level so it was 100 percent that people who showed delayed gratification children who showed delayed, delayed gratification were overall more happier people they were more successful in life and they were more calmer people compared to those who took the marshmallow one marshmallow immediately so this is a beautiful story which i love uh, and uh, sharing with them also so now we come down to the blue mind has or the blue mind has so much psychological benefits stress enhanced creativity i already told all of these things uh, it is recreational benefits through water through ocean through you can connect to water in much deeper ways so being a bird photographer i was always connected to nature birds but now since last couple of years i have been into diving i am a scuba diver as well i dive into the uh, ocean i have done 40 dives almost close to 50 minutes uh, every single time i dive into the ocean i explored the ocean water journey so it was such an a fascinating journey to such an extent that i'll show you i became so crazily addicted to water i am better to addicted to water emotional well beings inner peace these all you can understand spiritual connections so this this blue mind uh, we have to it's a journey and we are uh, i'm starting to share and spread this concept with people because uh, we all grow collaboratively by sharing and this is a concept which everyone will naturally absorb as i told in the starting of my lecture because everybody is 60 to 70 percent water you would want to hate it but you will still enjoy it if you read it if you understand it so i have started to and being a surgeon being a surgeon i open up bodies i open up uh, so many i used to laparoscopically so i always as i told was suggesting everybody to drink water then i thought about water then it feels like my life's purpose is water revolving around water treating people with diseases like I treat a lot of piles patients which is basically because of lack of water and as we are talking cancer is also as I already mentioned is state of chronic dehydration then so in those beautiful timeline of my life I happen to get this blue mind so it is the universe telling me to spread this concept so how I have chanced upon the book if I tell you sir I get goosebumps so I, one day I was reading about water I was doing so many things so I randomly without any research I uh, typed on Amazon books on water and three, I ordered random three books without doing any research all the three random books come, came to me I looked at the cover and I just randomly decided to read this book and then uh, I read this book and uh, I wanted to meet this Wallace Nicholas the author I wrote to him I everything and uh, the day I finished I'm not joking I'm not making this up the day I finished the book the last page next morning i was very excited i opened up and he passed away the uh, wallace nicholas the author he passed away he was very healthy so i, I got shaken up ki what matlab, what is this so matlab, i have taken the barrel and on my own hands to try and spread this concept to as many people as a tribute to this beautiful beautiful person so this is yeah this is the book yeah, yeah. 
so uh, i'll tell little bit more about my journey that uh, how i am more connected to water so i am doing ice baths every day now in the field of longevity and aging we were talking so i but i am a environment friendly person so i cannot order a lot of ice every day and make in a ice tub and waste so much plastic in the process so uh, innovatively i created a daikin chest ice cream freezer into a ice bath and uh, i connected it to the electricity i make uh, the temperature 0 to 4 degrees and i disconnect obviously with the electricity and i sit in it and uh, in my family also initially everybody was against it ki what are you doing this is pagal pan this but i obviously it is scientific ice baths is uh, good for your body it's good for your if you are working out a lot it it uh, it is a shock to your body but it is it is a adversity mimic it means it mimics a shock but it's not not actually a shock so if you keep, do it regularly you will feel the amazing benefits and same is the swimming and uh, so i was such a crazy uh, scuba diver that i bought one uh, scuba tank uh, at home in alabad and uh, i have a small tank which has 15 to 20 minutes of air in it and i uh, happened to get a close uh, swimming pool with a close friend and she also encouraged the concept uh, the, so then i meditate inside the water for 15 minutes now nah, these days not every day because i am doing many other things and the and uh, the feeling i cannot explain matlab i have been uh, radha babu knows that i have been following different kinds of meditation in my life with a normal land meditation i should say and uh, i get uh, connected in that also but what in one so meditating inside the water it is uh, uh, scientifically a sensory kind of a sensory deprivation therapy so you do you are automatically and only one thing you will automatically focus is on is your breathing so i have done on my channel you can see i have done a surya namaskar under water and uh, so all these things connect you to water and make you a more calmer person in general so uh, this i have already covered i think tip of the day is drink before you are thirsty not when you are thirsty and this is because our cells are already dehydrated i already told this so we are all drawn to water because it's our ancestral home all of life comes to from water we are deeply connected to it in each and every cell of it and in the end i will uh, just tell about one uh, last story i i think bahut lamba bol diya humne so the last story is uh, about how to attain flow state in life everybody knows that life mein acha chalna hai so we all want to attain the state of flow right this is very clear with everybody we all want to flow with life we want to state of flow in life so blue mind book mein likha hai ki how to attain a flow state there are four phases of that number one you have to be doing something you love it can be swimming it can be diving it can be studying it can be doing surgeries it can be anything do you have to do something you love number two you have to have spent time in your past to have mastered that skill to not focus on it to not do it meticulously matlab not go into the think about doing it but that happen on at a subconscious level for example driving hai na so we don't have to think about it so number one you have to do something you love number two you have to do it in a relaxed state and enjoy the activity and uh, not think about it do it in a alpha state if you read selva mind A relaxed state. Number three, there has to be some challenge. For example, I am a runner, so uh, I challenge can be yeah, two days back on Sunday I ran 10 kilometers, so that was a challenge for me. Uh, to run 10 kilometers, that is a challenge, and that is the challenge. And when we do put a challenge, and then we auto, when I started doing the 10 kilometer run, automatically my body, because since I have developed the skill to do it correctly and not injure myself, then I. after a state there will be a flow you will and then once you do all these things there is a challenge you are stretching your limits your your body uh, stretching your limits so for example a surfer a surfer is surfing and he's so the most big, biggest wave will be his most difficult but his body his skill everything will come all together to do it best so when you do all the three state uh, phases uh, phases of flow you attain the fourth and the most crucial element of flow which was loss of sense of passage of time when you are doing something so focusedly so engrossedly that you forget what time is and time passes you by rather than you passing the time by 
So this is the state of flow and I love and we all have attained this state of flow and some other other thing in which we do and we love. So we should try and do more of those activities as much as possible and try to remain healthy and if you want to live long, follow my channel on Instagram. Great. <laughs> so thank you so much uh, for a patient listening and if now any questions Good morning, Mr. Patel. So my name is Sarita, and I love reading books, especially on topics which I like. So would you like to suggest some books, except Romantic or Poetic? Uh, 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 definitely. I will suggest you. Uh, take down my number. Instagram, me. You can DM me. I'll uh, try and remember whatever books you can. I'll share. Okay, sir. Follow us on Instagram and type your queries or questions. Is somebody here? Yes, Emilia. Shambhavi. My name is Shambhavi. So my question is that I got vaccine. You have said that it's for 40 years. Then why still not get so aware of it? That's that's a beautiful question. That's a beautiful question, Vita. इतने अच्छे-अच्छे schools पढ़ गए हैं, इतने अच्छे-अच्छे colleges बन गए हैं, इतने अच्छे-अच्छे सब चीजें सिर्फ 4,000 और मान लो 12,000 के लिए वे आर नॉट गेटिंग दिस वैक्सीन दिस इज आई एम आल्सो आस्किंग यू दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाय वी स्टेन अवेयर वेरी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चंस नो 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 आई आई टोल्ड अगेन आई एम टेलिंग सो 9 टू 15 इज़ द आइडियल एज 15 to 45 is also the appropriate and ideally we can also give it to 60 years. First thing is to maintain the efficacy. After 15 years we need 3 doses of the vaccine. So little bit more cost involved. And uh, the efficacy slightly dips. For example, if you uh, take the vaccine at 15 years, you may be 99% protected from all these vi viral diseases and cancers. And if you take the age of 30 years, you may be 95%. But even if you take the age of uh, 45 years, you will still be close to 85-90% protected. So, efficacy drops a little bit, but 80-90% is a good efficacy to be taking at 40, even 50, even 60, I think. Thank you, sir. Uh, Sarita, I am willing to take, I love, because if you see, at dono chizo, at least they are listening. And they will go to their default brain network and ultimately make this into a memory. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Very, very interesting and very, very correct question, Peter. So, so normally uh, these days because of some genetic changes and lot of environmental issues. Uh, sometimes even young people are also getting cancers, especially cervical cancer since we are talking about that. So uh, in the early age, uh, still I would feel at least 10 to 15 years after the woman is sexually active. So for example, if someone is active at uh, uh, after 18 years, then maybe th early 30s, 31, 32, he, can, he or she can get. That's the, but still it will give you a lot of time, which is, you have to be really unlucky to get the cancer at 32 years though. But uh, so the best thing is to get the vaccine as soon as possible and for this is only for the cervical, for the breast th there are so many awareness <coughs> campaigns happening so you should uh, self breast examination uh, you can type on google and uh, how to do and if any lumps are there again for example breast there is a big misconception that uh, there is a fibroadenoma lump or lump in breast which happens to young girls between the age of 10 to 25, 30. And uh, the even in educated and even in uneducated people, they are very anxious and ki breast me gaant ho gayi hai ya breast me lump ho gaya hai. So I have seen both kinds of extremes. I have seen thousands of patients 
है ब्रेस्ट में फाइब्रोएडिनोमा फाइब्रोएडिनोमा इज अ नॉन कैंसरस स्मॉल लंप व्हिच कैन इजीली बी रिमूव्ड बाय अ स्मॉल सर्जरी इन मोस्ट केसेस 99% केसेस बट दे विल टेल टॉक अबाउट एट होम एंड दे विल कॉज सो मच रेड माइंड और द स्ट्रेस दैट रेड माइंड विल कॉज लॉस ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक इश्यूज टू देयर फैमिली पेरेंट्स एंड एवरीबॉडी सो दिस इज द एग्जैक्ट पॉइंट ऑफ व्हाई माय पैशन इन क्रिएटिंग दिस चैनल स्टार्टेड and my channel i tell differences and videos about how to differentiate between breast fibroid cancer and fibroadenoma there are some basic differences which you, if you are aware of your own body you can at home also determine ki this uh, lump is nothing to be worried out but still show it to the doctor obviously but at least not create panic and stress and cause unnecessary uh, stress again to the all your family members and i have also seen patients with cancer who are completely ignoring so those are also to for to clear out all those misguides and doubts and if you or any particular person has any topics which they want me to make videos on i will try and dedicate my time and make a video on that thank you so much <laughs> yeah Sir, today under nine nine years students also get cancer. So the, uh, if they get the vaccination after nine years, even if they have cancer, so they uh, so it can be curable for them. Ah, uh, very very interesting question again. So under nine years, ah, uh, if you get cancer, specifically very rare, very very rare to get a cervical cancer or HPV related cancers below the age of nine. If it is happening below the age of ten, fifteen. then there has to be some other predisposing factors cancer is not only caused by the virus cancer can ha- can be caused due to some genetic diseases some our uh, issues in our uh, dna some a uh, lot of environmental toxins which some maybe for some children is consuming from the uh, for example lead ki factory mein kisi ke father koi kaam karte ho uske ghar mein koi rehta ho to he is consuming lot of lead toxins from the beginning which can lead to cancer at early age also so not necessarily the cervical cancer 99% you won't get under the age of 10 10 to 15 years so this vaccine has nothing to do with that point point of view it uh, it will protect you against hpv related cancers not any cancer right so most likely all hpv related cancers will not happen under the age of 15 any other cancer can happen in the age of 10 so this vaccine is only going to protect us against the these types of cancers and this is not a universal cancer vaccine if you get this vaccine you will not get protected from all kinds of cancer since cervical and hpv and human papilloma related cancers there are a lot of numbers huge numbers so that is why we are getting aware even if you get the vaccine you still have to get your routine breast cell breast examination and bre- because this will not protect you against breast cancer for example and you need to eat healthy happy so that you live long for that you need to follow my channel <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you so much, sir. Yes, it was really very informative. Uh, very exciting, also. The topic was both the topics were very exciting. Like today, also yesterday, I from yesterday, we have started exploring about what huh? is the mother. Huh? 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 Huh?
I was just thinking yesterday what this blue mind is all about. In fact, I was relating it to water, but I couldn't expect such a wonderful uh, presentation or information that he gave me today. And trust me, uh, the place where we sit every day is full of stress. The red mind is always there. And from today, even I was taking a promise to myself that's that okay. uh, we will try to convert this red mind into a blue mind. Yeah. Definitely. And my thanks to Gartha ma'am, she uh, gave us this opportunity where we could uh, call Dr. Arpit Bansal and listen to him. Uh, in fact, I had heard about his sessions but I did not know this would go such wonderfully. So thank you Radha ma'am and I will be looking forward to more associations, uh, more sessions. Today the girls were benefited, next time I would make the boys sit and we would have a complete session on the blue mind. That's required. And my thanks to Mr. Neera Chuk for coming and making all this possible no. through Rotary. Thank you so much, sir. So, I would like to just uh, share one observation of mine. Uh, presently, I feel my children, when they grow up, they feel if they are more techno savvy, they are made more close to social media, they are considered to be modern and smart. But I have a person sitting right in front of me and you should consider him as a role model. He is a doctor, he is a surgeon, he is a bird a photographer, he is an environmentalist and he has a positive thought in his mind. And of course, the last one, he is also a wonderful yoga person. So, see, you should think in your mind ki achai kis mein hai, modernity kis mein hai. Inhone science bada, but he is still inclined towards spiritual.